Hi everyone, Justin Payton from the Rap Institute. And in this segment of the Rap Rejuvenation on this beautiful flat in Amsterdam, we're going to focus on how to install polyester film on a window. So great tips and tricks. But what I think is very interesting before we get to those tips and tricks is the story behind it. Now in Amsterdam, close quarters. So everyone can see each other's flat. So what a lot of people do is draw the curtains, which does give you privacy, but it blocks a lot of light. Or what some other people do is they put frosted film across the window, but it's just solid gray. So it does give you privacy, but blocks a lot of light and there's no design factor. So if you know how to do these type of installs and you can actually just then choose different types of designs and stuff like that, you can not only get privacy, but you can get a great design element and still lets a lot of light in. Very cool stuff. So that's the focus of this segment of the Rapid Rejuvenation series. And let's get to those tips and tricks. It's really cool. And here's what the previous owner of the flat in Amsterdam had on the window, which was a curtain that was permanently drawn. And as you can see, it blocks a lot of light, but it does give privacy. And without it, the neighbors across the way can see right into the flat. So that is why this install is absolutely key for finding that beautiful combination between privacy and light. The first step of the prep phase is to remove the silicone on the side of the window. Often silicone has an irregular edge which can lower the quality, so it's very important to scrape that out. So spray it with water, start from the top to the bottom, and as you can see, uh, quite a bit of silicone is removed, and this will be re-added once the install has dried. Now it's time to spray the window, and it's very important to remove tiny specks that can build up on the glass. So here, using a scratchless sponge, work from top to bottom, and the solution being used is simply soap and water. Now, using a wide squeegee, work from the top to the bottom and remove all the soapy residue. Once this is removed, spray the window again, and this is a solution that has a mixture between water and film on, which is the slip solution for the window film. Spray from top to bottom, make sure it's nice and even. Now, put a piece of the window film on the window, make sure it lays even left to right, and now it's time to make sure it's level. Keep in mind that the frosted side is facing out and the liner side is on the window. Once the panel is level, now remove the excess film on the left and right by placing a squeegee in the corner and a blade just inside it. This combination will help the blade cut safely and straight from top to bottom. Once the excess film has been removed, now it's time to, with masking tape, mark the top of the panel so you know exactly where to place it once the liner is removed. So now remove the liner, just partially, spray the adhesive with a slip solution, then remove the liner exactly halfway, being sure to spray from top to bottom. Once the adhesive is evenly moisturized, now it's time to roll the liner back onto the adhesive, lay it flat. Once it's laid flat, repeat the exact same steps for the bottom half. Remove the liner exactly halfway, then thoroughly spray the adhesive with a slip solution using the pressurized sprayer, then lay the liner back onto the adhesive. Make sure it's nice and even, then carefully roll the film up. Be sure not to crease it at any point. Always be sure to work from the bottom towards the top. And once it's completely rolled up, remove it from the window and keep it in your hand. Be sure not to place it on the ground. Spray the window one more time and squeeze it. This is just to double check that there's no dirt on the window. Then spray it with a slip solution very thoroughly from top to bottom. Then place the panel back on the window, unroll it, remove the liner, then make sure the top edge matches the markers on the right and left so that it's perfectly level. Relax the material so it's evenly spread out on the glass. Then spray the top surface of the film. This is to allow the squeegee to slide across the top surface without scratching. Take the squeegee with the handle and lock it in from top to bottom exactly in the middle. Always be sure to pull the squeegee as opposed to push. Now you can push the squeegee from the middle towards the sides. It's very important to overlap the squeegee strokes so that there's no water left behind. Be sure to apply firm, even pressure and keep the angle of the squeegee at roughly 20 degrees. Once one half of the panel is done, repeat the exact same steps for the other side, working from the middle out towards the edge. This will force all the moisture out from underneath the panel. And for post install steps, well, they're quite simple. Go over all the edges with a highly absorbent paper towel to soak up any moisture, 
Then do a thorough 360 check on all the edges and the main surface area to look for bubbles. And if you're gonna reinstall the silicone, be sure to wait one or two days. And remember, this is what the window looked like before, with the curtain permanently drawn, which doesn't let a lot of light in and has no design factor at all, to this. The window now has a beautiful design that works really well with the rest of the wrap rejuvenation. It does let a lot of light into the flat, all while maintaining that privacy factor. All thanks to an easy, straightforward install using tips and tricks from the Wrap Institute and window filament tools from CoverStyle and SolarScreen.